Hey, 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 Virgo. This is your sacred scribe here, ready to do your weekly reading. So we're going to see what kind of energies are going on this week for you, Virgos. Sun, moon, rising, Venus, Jupiter, and north, moon. This won't resonate with everybody, but hopefully it will with some of you. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe right down below there, Virgo. If you would, before you leave, I do appreciate it. And thank you so much for all of your likes, shares, and subscriptions. If you guys are interested in a personal reading, that way this is more specific to you and your questions and your needs. Information can be found in the description box below. And please utilize that link in the description if you are interested, as there are many tarot card impersonators and scammers running amok within the community. And know that you will always see my face <clears throat> within a tarot card reading if you order one from me as well as receive a link an unlisted link to this channel for your reading that will be available to you on youtube forever all right so let's see what we got going on here virgo don't forget to comment and hit the notification bell Right? And make sure you're still subscribed because some people are saying that they got unsubscribed and their notifications aren't working. So make sure you maybe turn the notification bell off and then on again. All right. So you got the Ace of Swords, the Three of Pentacles, the Nine of Cups, the Nine of Pentacles, and the King of Pentacles. Hmm. You get your mind on your money and your money on your mind, Virgo. I feel like um, work is heavily on your mind this week. Your stability. But I also feel like you're dreaming a little. And you're going to be clear about some of these dreams. I feel like it's, it's almost like they're saying recategorizing. I don't know why you would categorize dreams, but... If anybody would, a Virgo would. So let's see what's going on. Tell me about this clarity, this truth. Nine of Wands. Okay. So, okay. That's why you're focused on your money. You know that you've been focused on your money because you've been sort of avoiding, for some of you, love. Six of Cups. But I feel like somebody's coming in that is going to make you think. And this is when you're going to have that important communication with yourself about this defensiveness, the wall that you have up, the wounds that you have carried around. So you're going to be looking to the past to re-clarify your wishes in the present and what it is that you want to build in the present. And you'll gain this clarity. Okay, you're going to be taking this slow. All right. With the princess of pentacles but that's okay i feel like that's you you're just doing you virgo let's get a kipper on this poverty so one of the things that you might become clear on is this lack mentality whether this be a lack in love the six of cups is here a lack in belief i'm getting like belief that the six of cups love can actually come into your life. So I feel like you're you're touching base again on your beliefs, on your hopes, your wishes. And you're you're choosing to believe again. Queen of Swords is clarifying the 3 of Pentacles. You're going to be cutting out what no longer serves you for the betterment of your world here with the Queen of Pentacles because you are the Empress. The moon. And these are things that have been hidden from you. Or at least you haven't been, been taking a look at anyway. Right? With the moon card here. You're going to be following your intuition. And allowing that to guide you. More than ever right now. Coffin. You're putting an end to old cycles here. You're putting an end to things that don't serve you anymore. Tell me about the nine of cups. These are your wishes in your dreams. All right. Princess of Swords. They just said self-fulfilling prophecy. 
And I feel like this may be one of the things that you become clear on, Virgo, like, like your thoughts create things, right? So I, I feel like you're going to realize that your thoughts have be, been creating your reality. And you're going to begin to change those patterns of thoughts. Princess of Cups. Your heart chakra will begin to open up. I feel like you're going to be listening to spirit more. And that's the Princess of Swords. Listening to that communication from spirit. And yeah, see? That higher wisdom that you know is calling you. You know it is with the hair font. Yep. Yep. You're getting on your path. You're opening it up. You're you're shining. I just see this light around you. It's like you're glowing, Virgo. Tell me about clarifying the nine of pentacles is the six of swords. The two of wands. Beautiful. What else? Yeah, you're you're really finding your optimism again. The Eight of Swords, the Four of Wands, the Two of Pentacles, and the Ace of Pentacles. You're deciding to take uh, this love opportunity, okay, that's coming towards you. And I'm going to ask about that in a moment. You're setting yourself free from this self-imposed prison, right? You're choosing an optimistic mindset now because you've realized that your thoughts are creating your reality and you do not want a self-fulfilling prophecy here so you're looking at opportunities and you're deciding yes i'm going to commit i'm going to commit i can still be focused on my money but i am going to make room for love yeah ace of wands Prince of Pentacles. So you'll go slow, but that's okay. You could also have an earth sign coming towards you if they're not already in your life. Eight of Pentacles. You may meet this person at their work, through work. Let's get a kipper. Okay, but I feel like this is solid. Yeah, occupation. Definitely meeting somebody at their work, through work through somebody you know at work, like it, it, as long as it's connected to work in some way, like you could work with somebody and they could be like, hey, let me introduce you to so-and-so. You know, it's still through work that you're meeting them. So th that's what I feel like. So you don't have to work directly with them. It's sort of indirect. Okay, now let me find out about... Who is this person for Virgo and how do they feel about Virgo? How do they feel about you, Virgo? This new peep that you meet. Princess of Wands. They feel a youthful enthusiasm from you. Which is very interesting. Death. Hmm. Seven of Pentacles. They may be told... Um, I'm getting by the person, King of Cups. They see all different aspects of you. I feel like if you meet this person through work, they're told by this person that you've evolved, that you've changed, and you have in a, in a good way. That's that death card. But they see you as creative and intuitive, and they see that you're very, very earnest, I want to say, with your with your money like the way that you're utilizing your assets your where you're choosing to put your energy to place your energy as it pertains to work and they like it they see your patience they like your patience they like your tenacity i'm hearing they like your tenacity eight of wands and they very much are attracted to you they have a lot of passion they may be at a distance you get one on here. Toil and labor. There's that work again. Yep, you're definitely meeting this person. Even if it's indirectly connected to work. Um, let's get an advice card. Advice for Virgo. The Magician. Seven of... Uh, let me call it. Wait a minute, didn't that come out? Seven of Swords. Why is the Seven of Swords here? Six 
Six of Wands, Strength, and Prince of Swords. Wait a minute. I just want to get a Kipper on the Seven of Swords. Mature Man. Don't run away from your thoughts. Okay? That's not... Okay, because it can still create a self-fulfilling prophecy, all right? Running away and avoiding your thoughts is, is not serving you, all right? And I feel like your thoughts about this person, I don't know what thoughts they are. They're going to be specific to you, but Spirit's wanting you to not run away because they say that you can create whatever you want. So be careful of running away from your thoughts, right? Have the strength to face them because you will be victorious over them, right? You've got double Leo here. You could have Leo in your chart here. Hmm. Very interesting, Virgo. So watch that because you are a magician. Right? You're powerful. Believe. The force that works through your soul, determining what's possible or impossible. The difference between success over failure and above all who you are is the power of your belief. And that's what I was saying in the beginning. You're reminding yourself that yes, it is possible to have this love. Number five, I am adaptable. This is an angel number message. Flexibility is your forte. When life throws you a curveball, you can easily adapt to new circumstances and find excitement in the unexpected change. Be brave and bold in your endeavors. So be brave, courageous. You are Virgo, okay? All right, Virgo, I hope this resonated. Please drop a like below, share, and subscribe if you already haven't. If you're interested in a personal reading, that way this is more specific to you and your questions and your needs. Information can be found in the description box below. Please utilize that link in the description if you are interested, as there are many tarot cards, scammers, and impersonators running amok within the community. And know that you will always see my face in a reading, as well as receive an unlisted link here on YouTube that will be yours to utilize forever and ever. Have a wonderful week, Virgo, and I'll catch you on the flip side on the dailies. Namaste.